guys today we are going to learn how to draw a breaker plexus so guys i will show you a very simple method and i hope that you will like it and you will remember it for the rest of your life so guys first of all draw three branches like this or three lines two and three yes make it a little bit bigger all right and now we will put two lines like this here and here all right but there is no line here all right now you need to draw two e's okay imagine it's you're drawing an e like this or three in fact you call it three if you call it three that that's more like managing and all right but but when you are drawing three at the end of these lines don't engage this uh, this posterior root all right so guys so what we have here this is actually c5 always remember your uh, hand has five fingers so you're starting from c5 all right just for like your memory uh, it starts with c5 so remember the hand has five fingers so c5 up c5 c6 c7 c8 d1 yeah all right and also don't forget to draw an x kind of here because it's like that you know all right it's like kind of x all right guys uh, actually break plexus has some deviants for which we use a mnemonic let me write that mnemonic here it's randy travis brings old beers so that's going to make our life easier Okay, let's uh, see what we have here. All right, so let's divide it. So, guys, these are our roots, which is from R. And I think first we do the divisions, then we will be able to. Okay, and this part is this E one is divisions. I will write uh, later. All right, and these are the roots, trunks, deviants. Then these are chords, and then these are branches. Yeah, there you go. You are learning. All right. Okay. So these are guys roots. This part is root. All right. These are trunks. These are divisions, and these are chords, and these are guys branches. There you go. Yeah, lovely. All right. So, guys, now what we are going to draw next? So, guys, actually, you have uh, like if you see it's like in the form of the trunks, then it's the superior one. And this is the inferior one, and this is the middle one. Superior, inferior, and middle trunks. In the same way, anterior, posterior, and median chords. All right. Just remember it for the your convenience, actually. But in fact, like if like in in exam or in any test, if you're supposed to draw a um, brachial plexus, then if you draw this much, and then you we are going to now identify which uh, nerves are coming out of it. So it's enough. The main thing in uh, such kind of uh, like neurological stuff or neurological plexuses is the these root values. So you need to be very careful about it. All right. So now we are going to draw some nerves. So better draw nerves with red color, yeah. So guys, uh, this one is actually musculocutaneous nerve, and this one, yeah, which is coming here. It is further divided into two branches. Yeah, this is the posterior cord, which is divided into two branches, and this one is our median nerve. This one, the middle one, and this is our ulnar nerve. 
sorry a bit messy business but yeah it's good to learn this auxiliary and this one is radial nerve okay guys and we are also missing one more nerve which is which usually come from these roots c5 then c6 sorry it was c5 c6 and then c7 and this is our long thoracic nerve so that's all guys here is your baker plexus i hope you enjoyed it just like me and guys give me a thumbs up if you liked it and thanks for watching bye bye